Good evening and welcome to my tutorial for lecture 11, Work and Energy. Um, this example 14.3 is from Hibbler's book, uh, edition 13. So we are going to deal here with the case of a beam being left with a force F uh, uh, correlated to the distance and the position uh, with this relation, giving the force according to the distance in kilonewton. The weight is 20, uh, the mass is 22.5 megagrams, so we're going to convert this to be convenient in kilograms. And what is required here is to identify the speed and the time when this beam was at a distance of 3 meter from its initial position, from its initial position. Um, Technically, what we are going to do here is that first we will start with the mass. So we're going to say, okay, the mass here is equal to, to 2.5 uh, megagrams. So this equals to 2.5 times 10 to our 3 kilograms. And we're going to use this e uh, equation that relates to the summation of all works of all forces acting on a body being moved from position 1 to position 2 plus the initial kinetic energy which the summation of all of this should equal in the end to the kinetic energy in the end when the beam moves to, as a, to, move to a position of S equal to 2 meters now we have here the, um, the, the, the summation of all works is related to the forces that act on the beam we have here this force that exerts a positive a positive work because the direction of the force is in the direction of the movement um, I'm gonna say okay the work of the force I'm gonna say okay plus the work of the weight uh, the work of the weight is negative because the direction of the force is acts in an opposite direction to the uh, to the direction of the motion so <coughs> for the for the work for the work of the force equals to the to uh, this the, 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 the multiplication of the force times distance but because of the relation here we would use the integration to come up with the work as a product between the force and the distance so we're gonna say okay from s1 to s2 force times distance and we're going to say okay it moved from a position equal to zero to s2 I'm gonna say okay the relation of the force is described as 28 plus 3 s square multiplied by ds and we gonna come up with the relation with the relation that describes the, uh, the the work as a function of distance now I'm going to say okay it is equal to 28 s plus s cubed from 0 to s2 um, we can say that the uh, work of the force is equal to 28s plus s cubed and keep this relation with us keep it with us um, at the position equal to 3 meter this would give uh, work of the force to be equal to 28 times 3 plus 3 to power 3 and we are going to say this is equal to um uh one 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 times ten to our three joules this is the the relation this is the, the 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 work of the force itself uh do not forget that the force here is, is in kilonewton so uh the uh, whatever whatever number comes should be converted to be in joules for convenience with the rest of the calculations now for the work of the weight for the work of the weight 
um, the relation the relation is um, pretty straightforward uh, we're gonna say okay it equals to the minus of the weight times the the difference between the two positions times the distance so it's s2 minus s1 and we can say okay equals to minus uh, mg um, s minus zero and we can say it equals to um, minus minus uh, 2.5 times 10 to power 3 times 9.81 times s and this should give um, minus minus 24 Five two five s. So this this is the relation that describes the work of the weight, in negative of course, uh, with respect to the position, with respect to the s here. So we will keep this for us, uh, for um, future calculations. Now, at s equal to three, uh, this should give us the work of the weight. And this should equal minus two four five two five times times three, and this should equal to minus seven three five seven five joules. So this is the um, the work of the weight when the beam was at a position of three meters above above the initial position so we're gonna move now to the, the to the kinetic energy uh, the beam uh, was initially at rest so we can say okay t1 is of course equal to zero so we're gonna say okay half m v1 squared and this equal to half two times 2.5 times 10 to power 3 times 0 squared and this equals to zero joules for the t2 for the t2 this equals to half m v2 squared and this equals to half times 2.5 times 10 to our 3 times v2 squared we don't know the velocity we don't know the velocity when the beam was at a, at a height of three meters so this equals to 12 50 v 2 squared we're gonna keep this we're gonna keep this now we will refer to this equation again to plug in the numbers to plug in the numbers so we're gonna say I'm gonna write it again um, summation of all works from 1 to 2 plus the initial kinetic energy equals to the final kinetic energy and we are going to say okay we have the summation of um, the work of the uh, of the force itself which was equal to um, 111 times 10 to the power 3 minus 7 3 5 uh, 7 5 plus 0 equals to to the 1250 v2 squared uh, solving this would yield the v2 would equal to 5.47 meter per second so this is the velocity of the beam after moving up a distance equals to three meters pretty straightforward pretty easy to use now the difficult part um, we need to calculate for the time we don't know the time uh, we, we need to find the relationship that relates the velocity with the distance in a, a convenient equation in a convenient equation because we know that V as a dis, as, 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 a, uh, as um, an, an, um, a preliminary relation between the distance and the time equals to D, uh, ds over dt <coughs> so we can use this equation by the way because it relates the it, it, it includes the the distance and the velocity 
so we can get advantage of this relationship to come up with the time in the end of the day so we can write it in this way we can we can rewrite this equation in a way that says okay we got um, 28 times 10 to power 3 s plus um, 1000 times s cubed uh, this is this is this is this is for this this relation is for the work of the force minus minus the work of the weight okay and we're gonna say okay this is s and this equals to the uh, plus uh, I'm sorry plus this is this is this is for the again I'm gonna say that again so this is the for the work of the force and this is for the work of the weight and we need to add to this the kinetic energy so we're gonna say the initial kinetic energy so we're gonna say in half m v one squared the whole thing here of course equals to the half m um, v two squared okay so we can come up with something we can we can you we can do something um, solving this uh, by the way the initial kinetic energy was zero so we can cancel this term and then we can rearrange everything here to come up with this relationship and say and say this the whole thing here equals to to uh, 2.78 s plus 0.8 s cubed equals to the v2 squared we can say okay and in very general terms we can say uh, v equals to the square root of 2.78 s plus 0.8 s cubed so this is the relationship now we have this is a very important relationship that relates the velocity to the position um, in a convenient equation that we can use now how we can get the time how we can get the time here so we can say okay uh, we have here v equal to ds over dt we can say of course we have we can we can uh, rearrange the relationship to be like um, dt equals to 1 over v ds so to get it to get advantage of this relationship we can say uh, the this this term must be a function of s and this was the case here this was the case here so we can say okay dt equal to 1 uh, the square root of uh, 2.78 s plus point <coughs> eight s cubed yes um, now we can integrate both parts from 0 to t from 0 to s integrating this relationship would yield uh, another equation and we can say okay this is from 0 to t dt and this is from 0 to 3 meters for this relationship 2.78 s plus um, 0.8 s cubed ds and this would give us in the end with a with a with a with a proper solver we yield the time after solving this and substituting the s with 3 would, go, would give us the t to be equal to uh, 1.78 seconds so this is the answer the beam took 1.78 seconds to reach to a distance of 3 meters uh, thank you very much indeed for your listening looking forward for the next tutorial.